So here, uh, we're starting up a Red Hat Enterprise Linux guest on top of VMware's uh, ESX. Uh, we're going to go ahead and launch the server and show that it's functioning here. I'm going to start up the Firefox web browser. I'm going to visit redhat.com just to show you that this is a working environment. Uh, now that we see that, we're going to power this guest down so that we can go ahead and do a V2V conversion of the guest over to Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization. Okay, now the guest has completely powered down, uh, so we can go ahead and start the V2V conversion process. Uh, what we're going to do here now is run the vert V2V tool uh, on this ESX image, and we're going to target it to convert it over to Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization. This is mostly just going through data transfer and the conversion of the physical format. So uh, now we can see that we've completed uh, the conversion uh, Note also that as we look at this, that the conversion automatically configured for us uh, the vert IO drivers for Red Hat Enterprise virtualization during the conversion process. Now that we've done the conversion, I'm going to go ahead and start up the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager interface so that I can import uh, the converted image back into Red Hat Enterprise virtualization. So now you see I'm going to go over uh, to my VM import tab and I'm just going to bring up the interface and start the import process so that we have uh, the new image available for us in Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization. The import process has completed and this guest is completely configured uh, within Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization uh, with Vert.io as we showed earlier. So now uh, all the VMware tools have been completely uninstalled as part of this conversion process. I'm going to boot into the image now and we're going to go ahead and interact with it. Uh, now as we're booting it, uh, you're going to see that we're going to go through a one-time uh, SE Linux relabeling. Uh, this is a conversion process that we need to do uh, as a one-time process just so that we can get all the uh, security relabeling done uh, from one format to the other. Uh, we're going through that process now. And now we've booted into our Red Hat Enterprise Linux guest and Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization. I'm going to go ahead and log into the guest now and I'm going to bring up the Firefox browser and then navigate to redhat.com so that you can see uh, we do have a functioning guest here. Uh, so here you see redhat.com has come up, and so we've gone through a full V2V conversion from VMware over to Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization, uh, and you can see that it's fully functioning in the new environment now.